spread flooding on Saturday, October 5th. Key economic zones in Chiang Mai were badly hit again, just as they were starting to recover. Causing widespread devastation to properties that had barely recovered from last week's flood. Evacuate elephants and other animals from several sanctuaries, did, with 49 fatalities and 28 injuries reported. Breaking record history right here. The water has never been this high in this area before. So, I should have left this building, but I didn't think the floods will come up here because we're closer to the highway. So I thought it would be relatively safe. It's not. <clears throat> Look, and the power is out, which I have no idea how. It's crazy, this water is so high. So let's go downstairs. There's some weird burning smell. Like, it doesn't smell good. I don't know if there's a fire. It's just very bad. People cooking at home. I don't want to put my feet in that water, but how's my bike? I'm going to see how my bike is. So, this is level three. Oh my god, I need boots just like that. <gasps> you can't even see my bicycle. It must be under the water. Thank god I don't have a scooter though. That would suck. Oh, that water is so high. Yeah, I'm not walking in that. There's just no way. Not without boots. Oh, the guy. Oh, the laundry lady. I hope she's okay. But look, it's in the building too. Isn't that crazy? Oh, the elevator's gonna be out for a long time. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know about putting my feet in there, guys. I really want to. I'm adventurous, but... trying to get that water in my in my toes absorb into my skin but yeah the whole power is out they could have shut down the electricity for safety reasons because it's a high risk and anyone can get electrocuted I don't have any food and that's fine because I was planning to fast today and I have <laughs> water so I'm safe with water but this is so Big and if it's big here, I can't imagine what it's like across the board <sighs> I want to see if the old lady who lives next door to me is okay. Hey You okay? Okay, okay. I'm okay I, I just woke up, I hear dog barking, I'm like, why is the dog barking so crazy? I look and I'm like, oh my god, there's water everywhere. Water under? Yeah, on level one. Oh. The elevator not work no more. That's why I say, you know what happened? I got an insurance. I supposed to call them and go to stay in a hotel, I don't want it. Yeah, I was thinking that too, but I'm like, nah, it won't be bad here. <laughs> and then I look, I'm like, oh, I should have gone. 
Yeah, I got you know like. There's so, a, sm a smoke smell. Where's you know, that from? If I, if I go to the hotel, they pay for, but I love my place. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Great, you know, we know each other. So, because I bought the insurance for like, uh, I pay quarterly, one year for full time, in quarterly. Oh, to see a hotel? I got insurance for home. Oh, insurance. Yeah. I want to insure. If, if something like that, they pay for the hotel. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I still need to get that insurance. <laughs> okay, so right now we're going to go a little bit higher on the floor. She's funny, that lady. If it wasn't for her, I would have not had cradles of water in my room because the water man was meant to give me water. And he was debating, do I give him water? I'm like, yeah, I already paid downstairs. So I guess the admin office didn't give it. She walked into my room. Breaking my privacy. I kind of got a little bit annoyed. I'm like, she's out. Let her get away with it. You know what I mean? But if she didn't do that, I would have never got that water. So it's funny how life works, right? If it wasn't for her, I'd probably be thirsty, to be honest with you. I don't have another big bottle of water. I've got all these little bottles. So if it wasn't for her, it would have been bad. But oh my God, the gym is definitely closed today. They're having fun. I ain't trying to catch no diseases in that water. <laughs> Look at them throwing water at each other. They're like, it's Sakan. Wow. This is so wild. I wonder if the highway's flooded. No, it shouldn't be. He's having a ball with that water. Let me zoom in. Just so you guys can see. Look at him. Splashing the water. He's splashing the water on everyone. Someone just splashed it in his face and he's laughing about that. I'm like, I don't know if you want to have that dirty water in your mouth, my boy. <laughs> oh, because it's like the gutter, the sewage water, everything swimming together like, ugh. <sighs> if I had my bicycle, I would have rode it for sure. <sighs> This is wild, it's breaking record history right here. The water has never been this high in this area before. So, from my understanding, we have bad rain, but the big water, fa whoa, factory? I don't know, because this happened in Brisbane, Australia too. There was too much water in the huge tank. What's it called? I don't know, it's like big machine where all the waters hold and they have to release it and it flood like South Brisbane. So the same situation happened here. They had to release the water because it was going to be too much. And plus we have rain and now this situation. So yeah, we stuck. I ended up had to go through that water, man. I was like, oh my please don't go in my because it's like sewage water who knows what's in that water man it was so gross but they said the power was going to be off for like five days and it was going to be like that for five days i was like yeah i'm not going to stay here for five days <sighs> no work just chilling in the room so i left dumped in that water walked to the highway helped the old lady push her scooter out it was so much but i'm finally here Rented out an Airbnb, check out the views. I can open it. Yeah. I'm a little bit concerned about my neighbor. I am planning to go back in the flood waters to make sure that she's okay. Cause she's on the top floor. She hasn't gone back to my messages and she does have diabetes. She's on medication and stuff like that. But with people with diabetes, they have to eat and the power is out so i don't know what she's gonna eat how she's gonna survive and i just don't feel comfortable with that i was just laying here this morning and i'm just like yo how is she gonna get food in that apartment and um yeah so 
There are some emergency lines, but I, she's very stubborn and I think I'm going to be able to convince her. She's going to be, she's going to need some convincing because she was like me, scared to go into the water. That water is dirty and there's some things you can get, at, especially at that old age, you don't want to be jumping in that water. So there are little boats that can come and pick her up. So I'm thinking once I'm there, able to convince her, I'm going to contact those emergency boat people and hopefully they can come and pick her up and um, yeah, make sure that <laughs> she's okay. I hope she's okay. She hasn't gotten back to me. So she doesn't even have power on her phone. The way the building layout is as well, her building faces the back so I don't, I don't feel like anyone's gonna go in that area that she can call for help because there are people out there giving food to people who are I guess decided to stay home so they're going in there giving people food and all that stuff so I need to go back there not listen to me and if that's the case okay I'll go get you food some snacks bring it to your condo make sure that she's okay and she can eat due to a lot of the roadblocks there's a lot of traffic going on. Oh, there, Toyota. This? Yeah. The guy, he didn't want to take my hundred baht because I was like, because I went to the store and I said, hey, um, could you wait for me? I just need to quickly see if I can buy some equipment. And um, I was like, okay, how much I owe you? He's like, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, here, 100 baht. He's like, oh no, too much. And I'm like, no, nah, just take it. Like, so humble. He could have easily say, yeah. But nah, I, he's like, you have money to get back? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I got money to go back. Like, the people are so kind here. But now we got to make sure grandma's okay. Oh, and I'm coming back here and it looks worse than before. I really hope this water's not going to go in my penis. That's all I'm saying. Because I see some bus like places like this. I think they're like emergency setups to help people in the area. Getting back in there. I've seen some of my neighbors up here. They're sleeping uh, inside their cars on the highway. These people look like they're just cruising. So it literally feels like you're walking through a river. The current is strong. It's thick. The current is kind of like, well, I don't know if you call it current, but the stream of the water just pushing everything is hella strong. Hopefully there's no alligators. Look, see how the water just pushes down there? I think they're rescuers. Some people are even walking with no flip flops. I know this guy over here. You okay? Sawadi Kav. You want to go here? Go over there. Mm, I think it's best here and then you ride there. You want me to help you? You want to go here? No? You stay here? Okay. <laughs> Your dogs, hey! Oh, there's a one dog missing. Okay. 
I hope my neighbor's okay. I feel like, oh my God, I just trembled over something. Gotta be careful. Yeah, I feel like, oh my God, I just felt something slimy under my feet. <laughs> Between my slipper and my feet. It's probably a hookworm. I see there's no like emergency boats or anything around because I was hoping they would be because then I could get on and go to the area. See, some people are still waiting in the room. And it's going to be like this for five days. Whoa. It's so bad. So this place here, guys, still has electricity. People are coming here to charge their phones and stuff like that. Bringing food to help out the community. Yeah, they're probably cooking in there too. I was like, why is he coming back? I was speaking to him on my TikTok. You can go check out my TikTok. I'm like, why are you coming back here? And um, obviously some people don't have nowhere to go. Also, oh, you stay in here. Yes, uh, uh, I am a building D. Oh, I'm building C. Oh. So you, why you stay here? So, <laughs> because uh, this, this is not uh, my apartment. My apartment is already uh, closed. Mm. So we move and then the, this year. You move oh, here? Yeah. Oh, because oh, it was the first yeah. flood. Wow. Yeah. And this is where people are charging their phone? Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't know that. So they still have electricity. What's up? Okay. My uh, my grandmama, my neighbor, she stay up there. I don't know if she wants to stay though. Ah, oh, hey man. It's okay. <laughs> Cup. <laughs> Wow, one of my other friends is staying up here. That's crazy. Okay, I gotta be careful around this area. What is that? What is that? Oh God, this is when it gets deeper. Huh? Yeah, I'm Martin, where are you? Ah, oh, you're here. I wanted to see if my neighbor is okay. Well, I'm not sure. So I come back I to come, see. But uh, ground floor is go outside. Hmm? Ground floor go outside, but have someone stay up there. Yeah. But you not, cannot use electric now. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to see if the... I rented a place, but I worry about my neighbor. I don't know because I text. Oh. And if she had diabetes, sometimes they have to eat. So I just want to make sure she okay. Oh, the old lady. Yeah. Oh, she's there. Yeah, she didn't leave. So oh. I just want to make sure she's okay. Why oh, she not stay in hotel? <laughs> I and think she's scared. Today, of... today I have board. I bring board some some my home. Your board? Okay. So tomorrow can can go out, but now I stay here. Okay. Yes, it's I think. This she... night because two lady, four lady need to to go today. Yeah, she's scared of the water, I think. Oh. I was scared too, but I already... <laughs> shower. Yeah. Again? Hookworm? Honey. Mud? Dirty. Bacteria. Mm. Yeah, I know. I... <laughs> I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. This morning, the gentleman, he from India. Yeah, he told me, he said he got you some food. Yeah. And That's what I was thinking, because I don't know much about diabetes, and then I'm thinking you mentioned blood sugar, and I was like, hang on, doesn't she have to have food, and the fridge is not working? Yeah, yes. So I come back just for you. Okay. You're going to stay mm -hmm. here? Yeah. You should go hotel. I think tomorrow the lady come with both. You don't have to go in the water. It's okay, because in case you know why. If I need my medicine, if I have everything here, mm. see at night I get off on this one, be okay. You can't bring your medicine with you? I do, but if, it, if I go somewhere, something happens with my medicine, I get a big trouble. Okay. They order that for me because I got, I got a bad problem. They can't get smell like put together. Mm. You got a home now? Hmm? 
ครับสวัสดีครับเมื่อ imagine being away and then hearing on the news that it's flooded and you left your bicycle back here Hi guys, so it's like maybe two days have passed. I did some missions while I was out there helping them get like food to the building and stuff like that. And yeah, I ended up coming back here. I ended up getting a really bad injury on my foot when I went to the mall because I wanted to get out of the dirty water so bad, like my clothes. So I bought some new clothes and when I was running up the escalators, boom, I busted my foot. And there was my, under my toes were like scraped, and it was like a deep cut. And I was like, "Oh no, please don't get affected." But it's all good. They put like did what they need to do in my uh, central mall. I went to like the medic area, and they cleaned it, put the little medicine and all that stuff. So it's fine. I'm just mon monitoring my health, and if I feel weird or anything, then I'll go to the doctors. But I'm completely fine. Um, you know, it's really unfortunate. A lot of people have lost their homes. There will be a lot of repair recovery once the water is fully down because of all the mud. And I also understand why she didn't want to leave the place, and I was comfortable leaving because I felt like she's safe. There are other people there, know where she is, etc. So I didn't feel like I'm the only one that knows she's there, and she has no food, and she had a lot of food on her table. So neighbor grandmama is safe. She actually texted me today because they got their power back. Yeah, I completely understand why she wouldn't want to leave all her medication and stuff. If that the boat was to flip and she would lose all that, that would be really big trouble for her. So, um, unfortunately, the you know the raining season left with a bang. And the smoky season came back with revenge because the air pollution this morning was so bad. I was like, "Wow, it's only been like three days of no rain." Well, there was a little bit of rain, not too much, and now the pollution is just back. Just maybe go somewhere else in Thailand. Just due to the pollution, I really can't handle it. I was really here because I really enjoyed the raining season, the clean air, the beauty of everything. And now that the rain is gone and all this smoke is just coming back, I just I, I don't want to be staying in it, you know. But recommend me a place where I should go. I definitely don't know where to go. Make sure to hit the subscribe button notification because I have more vlogs coming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.